for Mood Review. It's been 10 years since the last time anyone went on a serial killer rampage in Woodsboro. Sydney's written a book where she describes how she got out of being a victim. Dewey is the sheriff and now commands respect. Okay, he doesn't, but he tries to. And he and Gail are married, and Gail is no longer a reporter. She is a fiction author. She will be a fiction author. But someone doesn't want the killing to end. And the 10-year anniversary is the perfect starting off point for a horror movie reboot. Okay, if you're not going to watch the rest of this movie, I'm just going to make it absolutely clear. If you did enjoy the first Scream, and you've watched some of the reboots, please watch this movie. You're very likely to enjoy the crap out of it. Everything that was good about the trilogy is back. There's tension, there's suspense, pretty good acting. Don't know most of these actors, but all of them do quite good, some of them great. Characters, also pretty good, more along the level of the second one than the first one, maybe. We've got surprises, just tons of them. Creative kills, plenty of blood, pretty good body count. We've got the whole voyeur thing. We've got the meta thing. We've got references to other horror. And this one does do a pretty good job of handling the reboot genre. And we've got just some delicious little takes on things that we've seen before. This one does with the whole reboot thing, focus primarily on the first one. So there are things that, you know, are pretty similar to the first one, and the film is aware of it. Like the others, the film mocks its very own existence. The opening is really great. I'm not going to give anything away about it. And the climax is fantastic. I don't know if I would say that this is the first film's equal, but it is just a fantastic follow-up. It's definitely a worthy sequel. So, yeah. Go watch it. What are you waiting for? One last thing. The Michael Myers Fanatics. Great horror reviews. Link down below. Check them out.